Hey guys, today I am going to dispel the notion that Anthony's $35,000 students, right? He was charging his students between $35,000 and $50,000. People still don't believe that's real. Uh, even though we've seen his students, we've seen the two police officers, we've seen Ja, we've seen Z, right? Z became the business development manager, right? Uh, we, we've seen a lot of his students before, and there's no doubt, we, even Fernando, for, for Fernando, yeah, the student that he had hired, the student who paid Anthony, who then later learned that he was going to be the teacher of all these new students that would come in the Watts Dealer University. I can prove to you, without a shadow of doubt in my mind, that Anthony actually did make quite a bit of money from teaching his students. The reason that he went to Los Angeles, the reason he wanted to divest from the investor is him and Marco were 50-50 partners. The investor bought in, assuming that Marco and Anthony split their part of the investor. He was looking for a side hustle. And as anyone who knows and has ever done a side hustle, if the side hustle makes more money than your main hustle, then the side hustle becomes your job. To understand the dynamics of why Anthony actually left, he must have been making so much money from his side hustle. And I can pr I can prove you to you it's real money. So Ethan, um, he's he's out here somewhere in Houston. They were eating a Papa Steakhouse, which is one of my favorite steakhouses as well, in Houston for uh, Ethan's birthday. And Anthony had he had driven from Dallas to Austin. So he missed Houston because that's Anthony in a nutshell, right? He had his friend driving him. And then they call and they say, hey, are you in Austin? They were like, no, no, I'm in, um, they must have like a Papa Steakhouse in Austin too. That's probably what you just probably Googled it. And Austin showed up randomly. But they were in the Houston one and they were staying at like some type of uh, nice hotel as well, maybe the Four Seasons. Uh, and then he, he drives straight from Austin. So he, he, he's driving the wrong way. And then, but he's still, the money is so lucrative to meet this kid on his birthday that he continues to drive in the middle of the night just so he can meet the kid and uh, be a special guest. You don't do that. And Anthony is lazy. I mean, he, the one thing that Anthony is, has shown is he is, when he makes a mistake, he gets angry, even if it's his own mistake, right? The Mike Rudin thing and the... I mean, that the blackout is Marco's idea, Clove May is, right? I mean, this is all, you know, it, it is. He likes blaming other people for mistakes, right? But he's in such a good mood right now. They just go from Austin to Houston, which is another very long drive, a free, free and a half hour. It depends. I mean, they're probably speeding um, two hour, maybe two and a half hour drive if they move very quickly. And then they meet Ethan, they meet Ethan's dad, and then they talk about business and, and, and so on. This is the reason Anthony left the Dallas. It was, he was making so much money from his, and this is why he eventually did Watts Dealer University as a last ditch attempt to you know, save his business, right, from going under with Watts Dealer University. But he was making a shit ton of money because you got police officers, you got jaw roofers, you got rich kids like Ethan, crypto kids. I mean, you have a lot of individuals with a lot of money and they all have money. They, we, we actually know their name. If you want to check their histories, they have interesting backgrounds and histories. And they all have money. Like Z has a lot of money. Like these are... People who 35, like originally were asking who's going to pay 35 to $50,000 to be trained by Anthony. Well, the answer is a lot of people did. And a lot of people got, I mean, this, so that money that he was making from his students, he didn't give that share to the investor or Marco. That's when he looked at Marco as scum. When Marco needed, quote, leadership training and Marco needed to go to class to learn more. That was during that time period, right? And the class that Marco needed to attend was probably Anthony's class. Right? So Anthony is surrounded, like this guy in the commercial, like he's a wealthy dude. He comes from a family with money. It's just like Z, 
just like Ethan, just like a lot of these students that he has, they tend to be younger and they come from families with money. So $35,000 might seem like a lot to me or you, but to someone who pays tuition, who's used to paying $35,000 for a private school, a private high school, or private even middle school in Houston, it's not a lot. It's just another check to the school, right? It's a check that you make out every single year to the, the best schools, the best private schools in Dallas or in Houston or in Austin. I mean, there are private schools that charge more than forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year for tuition in high school and middle school. So in their mind, it's probably just like, okay, it's got an after-school activity that they do. Anthony, God blessed it. You know, he was able to find and attract a lot of these younger people on TikTok. Like we, we talk about YouTube, but you haven't really seen his TikTok. His TikTok got millions of views. I mean, his TikTok was 10 times the size of his YouTube. I'm not joking. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, until you go look at his TikTok, I don't know if it's deleted now, but his TikTok was actually quite interesting. It was all the old TPG videos split into, like, one-minute clips. So if you never watched the original TPG videos and you didn't know about the blackout, you didn't know about the consignment, you didn't know about any of this stuff, right? And they clearly didn't know because Bob gave him money and Wesley gave him a million dollars. These are, I mean, this, these are not decisions made by people who watch the YouTube videos. These are decisions made by people who will only watch his TikTok. Um, I don't use TikTok at all. I just use YouTube. But I can imagine that's the opposite between other, other people. Other people probably only use TikTok and they don't use YouTube or Reddit or any of that stuff. Their form of media is TikTok. And they're seeing this interesting character. I mean, all, all the things that we saw when Anthony was, and Anthony got it. I mean, he understood it. The original year of TPG with like him and the young guy, the Lost Boys, I call them, and Marco and Rudinator and now all that, all these people. And he's got these guys on, Roman, and like he's got his friends, right, backing him. That was the time that people really, that he could have grown. Right before the blackout. So the videos before the blackout were extremely well produced. They were very entertaining. They would be two hours sometimes and I could watch all of it. Well, what if you just made them into TikTok shorts, right? He had the guy out in Florida and then that's all he did was make them into TikTok shorts. You could understand that he was able to catch lightning in a bottle twice. He already knew the formula would work so then he did some advertising he hired the dude in florida to do it full time he had he had already all the videos the old videos and so on he already knew that was going to work but he was ready for it so the first time he caught lightning in a bottle he wasn't ready for it and he made the blackout mistake for one of many mistakes but on tiktok because he knows a blackout was a mistake he didn't do a blackout on tiktok do you understand what I'm saying? It's almost like he went back in time, but it's a different platform that no one knows like about the blackout. No one knows about the back blackout. No one knows about the gamer shoes thing. No one knows about the consignment pieces going missing. No one knows about his background and his history. They, they only see what he wants them to see on TikTok. And I, I guarantee you, Ethan, Z, at least Ethan and Z, I know, paid a lot of money to be there anyway let me know what you guys think bye guys